what's good with it, y'all? It's your boy Santo G. Back at it, you already know. Spreading unity, prosperity, and respect. Above all, if you're new here, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell. It don't cost you nothing, and it will help out this channel. So today, I just wanted to pick up where I left off yesterday. I seen the comments, and I noticed, man, I'm like, damn, there's a lot of people that be looking forward to my videos. So I'ma try to keep dropping at least one video a day, even if I gotta record it that same day, edit it real quick, then drop it, that's what I'ma do. Today is the 22nd, and I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of words of wisdom, man. And if you guys seen my tattoo needle one, this pen right here, I don't know if you guys can hear that, little click but these are the pens that I said that I would get the spring from this spring right here will make me at least two good needles if I want to stretch it say I need a couple of sopas or something I'm gonna stretch it and I'm gonna make three but two good tattoo needles you just need a little wick and then you just with the fire it's going to spread and it's just going to be a long strip. It's going to look like this. And you're just going to have to cut it however long you want to make your needles. So this right here is golden. Inside prison, if you're able to get your hands on a little clicky pen, that's a couple of, that's a couple of tattoo needles right there that can range anywhere from like $2 to like $3, $4, depending where you're at. Maybe even $5 here. They're scarce. If there's nothing, this right here can put some money in your pocket, some food in your belly. Just anybody that's busted doing time, you get your hands on one of these pens, man. Watch my video on how to make a tattoo needle. Thank me later. So, today on this video, man, I just wanted to sit back, smoke a little joint with you guys. If you guys are drinking one, salute. You guys are blazing one with me, man. We're gonna blaze one together. So like I said, I just wanted to do some content, man, for the people that I know be tapping in. Every day, man, you guys wanna see what's going on. And I appreciate that for real. Humbly, man, from the heart, I appreciate that. So that's why I'm right here chopping it up with you guys, man. But I'm gonna need some help from you guys. Let me know what you wanna hear more of. You wanna hear prison stories? life stories, wisdom, or little arts and craft, like how to make tattoo needles, how to make tattoo ink. I wanna start doing some pruno. I'ma start recording it from the kicker all the way up into the fermentation until it's done. It's gonna take at least like two, three weeks to make that one though. But I got a pruno one coming soon too. Spreads, let me know, tamales, all that. I want to get back into my original content but i also do reactions if you guys see something that's going on in the world and you guys want me to touch on it then i'll touch on that as well like for example the mayo stuff that's going on right now the mayo zambada him saying that chapo's son hit him up arranged a meeting with him right and this is all coming from the news. I just barely seen it before I came out to do this video, right? So, you got Mayo Zambada, Ismael, saying that Chapo's son, I don't know this one's name. He's not the one that just got busted, not a raton, another one. So, he said that he hit him up like, hey, come meet me over here in Culiacan. When he went in the road, he said he was ambushed with, gang, with a, a bunch of guys with rifles. He said that they put a bag over his head so he couldn't see nothing. And he said that they put him on a plane and then when he landed in Texas, that the DEA and the US government was waiting for him. So right now, it's a lot of stuff going on. They're trying to charge a lot of people. Anybody that had something to do with it, they're trying to get them for treason because one Mexican cannot get another Mexican and turn him in to the U.S. authorities like that, like they did. 
Now he could do that to the Mexican authorities, but when it comes straight, just handing them over to the U.S. like that, that's where the Mexican president right now is pushing the issue, and they're looking into a couple of people. Let me know what you guys think about that. But stuff like that, man, it, it, it's crazy. And I'm going to do my research on it. I'm going to do my homework. And I'm going to bring you guys a whole episode on that right there. I want to do more documentary type stuff. Real life stuff. Stories. You guys let me know. What do you guys want me to do? Because I could bust out the laptop again. And just start doing reactions to different kinds of videos. Or do you guys want me to touch on my own wisdom? You know what I mean? Getting out. I've been out four years. I discharge parole and everything. And I still go through daily struggles to where every day when I'm going around one time, you know what I mean? You still, I'm tatty, straight up, just a neck buster, you know what I mean? Eye buster. So every day is a struggle, you know? And the day that I got out, I've been just about my family about my kids, my wife, and making sure that I progress in life. So if you guys wanna hear more about my struggles, cause you already know, especially still living around, it's like, you wanna go back to the old, but you can't, you know what I mean? You have to stay firm, focus on your family, get tunnel vision, and it's hard, man, when stuff happens, you know what I mean? You're getting phone calls, so-and-so did this, so-and-so said that type stuff, it's hard to just focus but like i said i'm not gonna let you guys down man i know why i started this channel why i started doing this and it was to just share my story not as far as me right here on this camera right here all repping my hood and stuff like that that's not what i'm about and that's not what i'm gonna do and if it feels like i was straining that way i apologize but that's not what my channel is about my channel is about Unity, prosperity, and respect above all. Unity, I mean unity in our urban communities, our cities, black and brown unity, black and Asian unity, brown and Asian unity, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about all of us minorities uniting together and prospering in life. That's where the prosperity comes from. Uniting together and prospering in life, and in order to get there, Above all, you got to start with respect, respecting one another, treating each other the way that you want to be treated. And I'm a firm believer, man, that if we follow those three steps, those three rules in life, we'll get far, man. And like I said, I just wanted to have something for you guys to watch right here blazing this one real quick. I'm about to go over to my mom's house in a little bit, go have dinner over there. She's cooking some tamales. And some costillas with nopales, you know what I mean? About to go get my grub on. But I just wanted to chop it up with you guys, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you guys, let me know what you guys want to hear more of. You guys want more reactions, life stories, prison stories, a little bit of everything. Or if you have something in particular that you want me to touch on, let me know in the comments and I'll touch on it in the next video. With that being said, man, it's your boy Santo G. Shout out Killer Kush, shout out Cali Bullies, shout out Cali Herbs Los Angeles, shout out Hate Our Extracts, and you already know, salute to my good people at Martinez Junk Removal, I'm going to put their number right here, if you guys have any kind of job sites where you have a lot of trash, junk, you guys need to remove, hit up my good people, they also specialize in demolition, you guys have a concrete slab, concrete wall anything that you guys need demolished and then they'll take everything as well hit up my good people at martinez junk removal man stop sleeping on them with that being said man let's get it.